Well, what has long been an open secret will soon become official. U.S. President Joe Biden is planning to seek a second term. His advisors say the campaign launch is expected to happen as early as next week, likely on Tuesday. Biden is already the oldest person to serve as president and would be just weeks away from his 82nd birthday should he win a second term. The question is, do voters want him in charge for another four years? Senior political analyst Ron Brownstein weighed in with some of the obstacles President Biden will face. Here he is. What we saw in 2022 was unprecedented in the history of exit polling. There was historically large number of voters who said they were unhappy with the way the economy was going, and also an historically large number of voters who said they disapproved of Biden's performance, who voted for Democrats anyway because they viewed the Republican alternative at that point as too extreme. Uh, and that is a dynamic that kind of keeps them in the game, uh, even though his approval rating is at a level that historically you would say would be, uh, would be difficult for, for an incumbent uh, president. I mean, they believe that they have a formula that will allow them to improve a few points among those swing voters, working class swing voters in those key Rust Belt, uh, you know, Midwestern states, and that Trump or DeSantis or almost anyone that Republicans nominate will solve the problem of generating a lot of enthusiasm among younger uh, voters in particular who have never been, you know, entirely wowed by, by Joe Biden. And that malaise felt by some Democrats is a factor in why the announcement is likely coming soon. The Biden camp says it'll take work to energize voters about the president's policies and the prospects of a second term. CNN's Phil Manningly reports from the White House. For months, President Biden's top advisors have privately made clear he is going to run for re-election in 2024. What they wouldn't make clear is when exactly he was going to announce that. The president repeatedly saying he intended to run in Ireland last week, saying that he'd made the decision an announcement would be forthcoming soon. But when was very much something that people couldn't really figure out. A very small group of advisors kind of in control of that timeline, of that process of building a re-election campaign, a campaign that officials now say is likely to be announced next week. Next week, marking the four-year anniversary from when President Biden launched his first campaign for presidency to defeat Donald Trump. He was successful in that endeavor, and in the years since, he has, at least based on the view of White House officials, based on the president's political advisors, built a very real, very substantive agenda, legislative accomplishments, accomplishments that are now being implemented across the country. And that, more than anything else, is what they say the president is going to be focusing on in the months ahead. The model is kind of out in the open. The president has been making very clear those priorities, his accomplishments, and also a very clear contrast between Republicans that he knows he will certainly be running against. Whether or not that's Donald Trump or somebody else, advisors don't necessarily want to weigh in, but they feel confident that based on that agenda and based on those contrasts, they have a winning formula. But it's a formula that will certainly take developing over time. And they also underscore when you talk to White House officials and the president's political team, that this will be a year of building, building up on their campaign, whether or not that's the president's travel, how they try and focus things, but also building behind the scenes. The infrastructure of the campaign has largely been put together behind the scenes over the course of the last couple of months, but they will spend 2020 testing digital strategies, testing data strategies, testing voter messages, and watching the Republican primary play out. And that last point is a critical one because it was one of the drivers behind the president's decision to wait until next week to launch that campaign, recognizing that there's no real pressure on the Democratic side from any potential primary opponents. There's a recognition that the president was likely to run again, and certainly there was plenty of fighting that they were happy to watch from the sidelines on the Republican side of things. But now the president ready to engage. Major donors are expected in Washington at the end of next week to meet with the president's senior team. This is all building towards what people knew was coming. They just didn't know when. The when appears to be next week. Phil Mattingly, CNN, the White House.